this had never been done before. There's no textbook, no manual on how to do this. So we just did it based on what Keiko wanted to do. We're going to give him a chance that no other captive orc has ever had to go home to his family, to the sea, to feel the tides, the natural beauty of his home country. He was the most well-traveled orca in the world. I mean, just even today, that's one of his legacies, is that he just, he was a globetrotter. He moved there in September 98, so he had his first storms coming through. The big winter storms in Iceland are just incredible. Keiko loved it. While I was there, it actually happened on my second visit. He left. 